Hi everyone, we wanted to do a video of installing our stealth in our camper trailer. And I want to show you uh, how to, we're going to get it wired and set up and find a little spot for it and how to get it all set up in the camper. Okay, so here's first things first. Here's all the parts, tools, and hopefully everything that we'll need for an install. Uh, first, we're going to start out with the stealth itself. Um, you should be familiar with this. Uh, with the Stealth, we ship it with two push, two sizes of push to connect fittings, either a half inch or three eighths, depending on the sizing of the plumbing in your camper, van, trailer, RV, or boat. Um, this is also the bracket for it, so you can set it up either way. You can either have it on uh, this side or you put it on the other side depending on how your plumbing is set up, um, where you want the water coming in and out of. We have some hose here for the, uh, to be able to hook up our faucet. Um, all the fasteners you need are included with the purchase of the Stealth. We have some wire strippers, crimpers, a few random zip ties, a power drill, hose cutter, wire snips, a few screwdrivers, Probably need some Teflon tape somewhere along the way in this project. Um, some wire connectors for all our wiring. We don't have too much wiring, it's all pretty simple. We also, uh, hose clamps. I really like to use these tools for the hose clamps. A lot easier than trying to put a flathead screwdriver in here and having it slip off and slice your hand. Multimeter. Uh, this is important just to make sure you have a good source of 12 volts uh, that you don't, especially if you're installing it in a camper where there's the possibility of 110 going through there. You want to make sure you're not putting it into 110 system. Uh, so you want to make sure you have a good source of constant 12 volts. Um, here we have our faucet. We're going to set this up so it has its own drinking water so we don't have it any coming out of the ordinary faucet so there's con contamination of the water we're drinking. Uh, connect connectors here, we're gonna slice our water supply from our current faucet in two, and then we're gonna tee into it. Uh, so the existing flow will come through here, and then off of here, we'll go into our drinking faucet. Uh, probably gonna need some hose clamps along the way. Probably for sure. <laughs> and we're probably gonna set this one up with a power button to be able to switch the whole unit on and off. Okay, we're in our camper now, and we're gonna take a look at where we're gonna install the Stealth. It's a little space under the kitchen. Under here, there's a little panel here. I've removed the panel, and there's a little space under here, which will be plenty for the install of the Stealth. We wanna make sure we have a nice, solid piece here to connect the Stealth to, which will be this piece of wood here. We want to make sure we have plenty of room clearance under here so that we can unscrew the canister and replace the carbon filter on occasion. We are going to use a constant source of 12 volts. So in this case, it, it will be this blue wire here and our ground is the white one right here. So these will be our two uh, wires that we'll be tapping into and this will be our water source. We'll cut it about here and uh, tee into it and then hook everything up. Okay, so we installed the first part of the Stealth, the actual physical installation of it. Um, you can see here we have plenty of clearance at the bottom. So we can still unscrew this, uh, remove it, and uh, replace the cartridge. And um, so the water will be coming in through here and out through here. So next up is uh, probably starting to work on the plumbing. I have now plumbed the stealth into the cold water supply that goes to the faucet. So just to give you guys a brief rundown here. Um, Here's where we teed into our existing cold water. This goes up into the stealth. First comes through the carbon block filter, 
And then down through here, flow switch to automatically turn on the UV. The UV here will come out and this goes up to the faucet, which I'm installing next. One thing of note here that we put in is just things, a few ties here to keep the hoses from moving around. Um, we don't want this kind of, we don't want any load moving around on here, loading this unit unnecessarily. We also have to remember this is under the slide. So this section will be sliding in and out. So we want to make sure that as the hose moves here, that it's not moving this section here. Okay, our installation is complete. We have gotten it all plumbed and wired in. Uh, for the plumbing, now we can see that we, uh, this is our drinking water here. It's coming out here and comes up through this cabinet, uh, this one here, and goes up to right there, which comes our drinking water faucet. Um, simple. So you can see there, a green light indicates the power's on. Uh, if I just switch it off, green light's off, not functioning. So green light's on means uh, the system has power and is ready to go. However, the UV is not currently active because there's no water flow. As soon as we turn the water on, there you see the blue light goes on. So that indicates that the UV is currently active. And then you shut it off and after a little bit of time, the UV shuts off on its own.